How much do you know about the instrument that you love to play? I am Mr B and this week's one minute ukulele trivia is all about how Hawaii became an American state. The spread of the ukulele from Hawaii as a global instrument began with the instrument spreading across nearby North America. In 1898, America started the process of annexing Hawaii, which means Hawaii peacefully became part of the USA. This process was completed by 1900, but Hawaii was not fully made part of the United States until 1959, when it became the 50th state. Following this union, the ukulele and its music spread slowly across America and was always heavily associated with Hawaiian culture. But it was not until the birth of the internet at the end of the 20th century that the ukulele really burst onto the international scene and quickly became popular with groups and musicians around the world. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. And this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about ukulele strings. The modern ukulele that most of us enjoy playing today is made out of a mahogany wood normally, with strings made of nylon polymers, which is essentially a stretchy plastic that is made from oil products. However, nylon polymers are a relatively modern creation and traditional ukulele strings were made from animal guts. Normally the strings were made out of sheep or cat guts and they produced a softer and warmer sound than the strings of today. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoyed them. Do take care. And this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about Neil Armstrong. Possibly the most famous man to ever pick up a ukulele is astronaut Neil Armstrong, who was of course the first man on the moon following the successful landing of the Apollo 11 mission with Michael Collins and Buzz Aldrin on the 20th of July 1969. Armstrong apparently had a passion for playing the ukulele, and although he didn't take one to the moon with him, he did take one to the 21 day quarantine they all had to go to after the mission, in case they had picked up any moon bugs. You can see him here playing his ukulele in the small trailer they had to stay in for those three weeks. I hope Aldrin and Collins liked his music too. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about the rise of the ukulele. In the 1920s there was an early ukulele boom in the United States and guitar manufacturer C.F. Martin Guitars, among others, sold as many ukuleles as guitars. This was largely due to the global economic crisis which made the more affordable ukulele appeal to more people. Unfortunately, after the Second World War, some instrument makers started producing cheap plastic ukuleles which were not very good, so the instrument developed the image of a children's toy. It wasn't until the 1990s with the internet, allowing people to share the wonderful music of great ukulele players, notably Iz Kamako Iwoli, that the instrument really started to develop the global popularity that it enjoys today. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about training your brain. Learning a musical instrument like the ukulele is a great way for young children to develop their mental and physical abilities. Learning to strum and to change chords on the ukulele develops the fine motor skills that help with everything from handwriting to tying shoelaces. Scientists have found that music triggers the part of the brain that helps us to speak, read and write and helps with our body movements and coordination. Since children are at a stage where their brains are developing rapidly, music offers a great way of training the brain in these areas which can have considerable impact on wider school learning. Learning to master something challenging over time also teaches children the benefits of perseverance and gives them a feeling of confidence and self-worth. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about Ukulele Mike. Ukulele Mike was an American music teacher, composer and musician who created hundreds of incredible ukulele lessons on YouTube and helps inspire a generation to pick up the ukulele. His warm and charming personality shone through in his videos and he remains one of the most popular online ukulele teachers to this day. His real name was Michael Lynch and he was born in 1945 in Seattle and sadly died in January 2018. His online lessons inspired the creation of this ukulele channel and I wanted to post this short video to say thank you to Ukulele Mike for all that he did and to his family for keeping his wonderful videos online. Michael Lynch saw the ukulele as an instrument of world peace and he leaves behind a powerful legacy of music videos to help spread that message. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel and website in the description. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoyed them. Do take care.